evening. I'm Jan Yanahiro. And I'm Doug McConnell filling in for Richard Hart. In Hawaii, where the climate is warm and tropical, everything flourishes, especially pineapples and papayas. But that same climate makes it also a haven for growing marijuana, and it is a never-ending battle for law enforcement agencies to stop the crop. It's a war, right? The marijuana go crazy around here. Are out there to go and get the marijuana plants. There's a war going on, not in Iran or Central America, but Hawaii. It pits police against marijuana growers, and it's a battle that has Captain Richard Carter on edge. We've had grenades, trip wires, rat traps, shotgun slugs. We worry about every boy, every man we send out there. We want them all to come back. Carter's in charge of Operation Sweep, code name for the aerial assaults on Hawaii's fertile marijuana fields. Flying in choppers like something from Apocalypse Now, Carter's men use their keen eyes to scan the bushes for illegal pot plants. Once detected, bushmen then rappel into the jungle. There they chop and pull plants as big as 18 feet tall and send them off to awaiting dump trucks. As if hanging off helicopters and hacking through jungles wasn't dangerous enough, bushmen like Norman need to watch out for booby traps set by the pot growers. They get boards and they pound nails in them and stick them along the trail. So when you're walking along the trail, it's a good idea to keep wide awake. Destroying Hawaii's number one cash crop is definitely a dangerous business. A business Lieutenant John Correa knows is not for everybody. Well, the vice unit is, is composed of uh, people who actually are selected. You need somebody that's agile, that's uh, in good physical condition, and mentally alert. On this day, the risk pays off, with over 11,000 plants ripped up and no injuries. Yet, with all the dangers involved, you have to wonder what goes through the minds of Operation Sweep's warriors. There's two types of people I think are policemen, those that are stupid and those that are crazy, so I like to think that I'm crazy. This marijuana is called pakalola in Hawaii, some of the most potent pot grown in all the world. After they dry it, it'll be so much easier to break apart. Then they'll clean off the leaves, pluck it out. Then you'll have the bud inside. That's what they want, this sticky stuff. That's where the more potent marijuana is. But it'll get fat, you know, enough to make a good joint. The drug brings millions of dollars into Hawaii every year, more than pineapples and sugarcane combined. And the growers know that this pot can fetch anywhere from $1,000 per pound in the Hawaiian Islands to $10,000 in Tokyo. But destroyed pot plants hurt more than growers. The impact of Operation Sweep also hurts the local business community. The police seem realistic about Operation Sweep, even though they've killed over a million and a quarter plants this year. That only amounts to about 30% of what grows on the island. And according to locals, the drug is still very available. No, you can buy it from anywhere. It's like going to a grocery store and buying milk. Honestly. But they've achieved what they want today, to get at least some of the money out of the doper's hands and make the field safe for Hawaii's residents. I don't think we'll ever completely eliminate it, but as I say, a lot of people now are in support of what we're doing. I think they just want to be able to go hiking, go hunting, without having to worry about booby traps or the hassles that might be, they might come across. This final step of Operation Sweep must be a depressing sight to a pot grower. You depend on the marijuana to bring food on the table, to clothes on the kids' back, take care of their families. But to the police, it's a sight of pure satisfaction. Almost $2 million of marijuana will decay and rot under the pressure of this dirt in a matter of hours, a procedure much cheaper than burning it. Operation Sweep has once again cleaned up, with its perfect safety record intact. The battle has been won for today, but the war will be much tougher to win. Guys grow, people bust them, guys grow. It's a continuous cycle that never ends. The eradication campaign seems to be working. In fact, last year on the big island of Hawaii alone, officers seized more than a million and a half plants. Pakalolo growers, look out. Tonight, 